started looking at plastics because we found plastics by accident in samples that we found in an East African rift lake. And um, we found them while we were trying to find natural organic matter, and the samples just didn't act right. And so I did something I probably should have done first, which is instead of just chemically characterizing the samples, look at them under a microscope. And when we looked under a microscope, we found um, a bit of what looked like a shopping bag and a little bit of what looked like blue tarp. And suddenly we realized that we needed to pay attention to microplastics in natural waters. So since we live near Lake Superior, we decided to start looking for microplastics in Lake Superior waters as well. And um, we did that by uh, taking um, surface net toes and collecting about a half mile to a mile long net toes and then looking through those net toes for what kinds of microplastics we might be able to identify. And we did this at sites in the open lake and sites near shore. And we found that on average, the microplastics in Lake Superior were roughly similar in concentration to the average North Atlantic. Um, and if you looked at the types of plastics, looked at the shapes of them, we found films and fragments and fibers. In over half the sites that we sampled, the majority of the morphology or shape was fiber material, microfibers. And uh, when we analyzed the microfibers, we found that some of them were natural fibers. They actually looked a lot like cotton. Some of them looked like cotton plastic blends, and some of them were actually plastic material. So we were curious, since we found microplastics in waters, um, where else might we find them? And um, we had some colleagues who were doing um, lots of microplastic uh, microscope analyses on fish stomachs from uh, the Texas Gulf Coast. And so they brought up some of their materials that they'd identified by microscope and we analyzed them for the polymer composition. And um, in the study, the morphology that the fish seemed to eat most was the fibrous material. And there was a fair amount of microplastic fibrous material in the fish stomachs. So it's in the water and it was getting into the fish. The question is, we don't know what happens to plastics between the fish stomach and say fish tissue or fish health because this is a very new area of research and we don't have good tools for looking at the very, very small plastics, the nanoplastics if you will, that would be the kind of thing that might transfer into a tissue. So shellfish um, have a different sort of uh, setup for their intestinal tract, and so shellfish are also um, generally filter feeders, and so they would be the area where you would see microplastics that would um, be very, very easily incorporated into the shellfish, and since most people eat an entire shellfish, um, then you might have um, ingestion of microplastics up the food chain from the shellfish. So an area in microplastics research that's an ongoing question and a concern is that plastic materials are often uh, very good sorbents for other pollutants. As a matter of fact, plastic resins are often used to extract chemicals for analyses and water quality studies. And so the question is, if you have microplastics, are they acting as little sorption resins for other chemicals? And if they are, do those chemicals then get released if the microplastic is eaten by a fish or a shellfish? And um, the answer is, it seems to depend on the chemical and it just seems to depend on the plastic as well. And um, I think that's going to be a big area of research in the future. Microplastics have lots of ways they can enter uh, natural water systems. They can come from direct litter that then gets broken up. Um, if you throw them on beaches. They can come in through wastewater treatment plants or septic systems, um, overflow sorts of situations, and they can come in atmospherically if your dryer vent sends a microplastics out to, into the atmosphere. And so um, all of these are, are ways that we should probably look at to try and minimize microplastics coming into aquatic systems. Mm -hmm.